Hello guys, welcome to my channel again. Um, you know, I'm a fresh boy. Joke about. Let's go into what we should be doing today. So, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. It's only a matter of clicking that place the road to subscribe. It will not take anything much from you. Just subscribe first before you start watching me. Okay, let's assume that you are subscribed. Now let's get into the video. Um, today I'm talking about um five causes of stunted growth in pigs you know there are some pig farmers who are always crying out that this my pig is not growing this my pig is not increasing yeah uh, other people's pig are growing fat other people's pig are growing bigger but my own is not a, a growing now if you are one of these type of people this video is for you even if you are not this type of people just watch the video maybe you might be the, you might enter this category of people in the next few days or in the next few weeks or in the next few months or years so you know um believe it or not pigs are like human beings because they have flesh they have body they have blood sorry running through their body so whatever human beings experience whether in terms of sickness whether in terms of reactions emotional reactions these pigs also experience it so that is why if you are running a pig farm if you are running a livestock business you should always be aware of whatever is going on with your pigs so, stunted growth is like something almost every pig farmer experiences. Because even if you, you know, take precautions to prevent it, sometimes some pigs just, you know, some pigs is just in their genetics, just in their nature, not to grow, you know, as big as their mates, in this, with the, like, in the same at the same period. Maybe their their mates, the people, the maybe the the pigs that they gave birth to, to at the same time with them might mature very well in one year. But, to, but their own is that, that it might take at least one year for them to reach that same size. So this thing is a normal case in pig farming. So but uh, what are the causes of this? What are the major causes of this, uh, you know, stunted growth in pigs? And how can you prevent it? That's what this video is all about. So the number one cause of stunted growth when it comes to pig farming is the, 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 the highest cause is um, Lack of quality feed, you know, it's always advisable to always feed your pigs right because pig farming is just like garbage in, garbage out. Whatever you put into your pig family is what you get it, is what you gather from it. So let's assume that you're not feeding your pigs properly. You can't also expect your pigs to grow properly, properly or grow like other pigs that are being fed well. And I've made a video about um, how to feed your pigs here in Nigeria. The you know the best pig formula for pigs. So just search my YouTube. Channel, you see all those videos on feeding of pigs so check them out and know what and how and when to always feed your pigs to achieve maximum growth in pigs the second cause of um, stunted growth in pigs is proper hygiene you know you know a lot of farmers take the hygiene the cleanliness and the environment in their farm for granted forgetting that this also has some effects on uh, pigs if you have watched my videos that I made in the in my in, in the pig farm, you you see that the pig farm is always clean, the environment is always uh, neat, the pens are always neat, because if these pigs always stay in that environment, they will likely because pigs do eat almost anything they see, they will likely eat eat up most of the dirty things in their environment, and this is we impair their growth, we impair their health, so it's always advisable to always keep your pig. Pens, pig environment, very neat. So your pigs, we know, they won't have to, you know, stay in a dirty environment which will react to their body. And they won't also have to be eating um, uh, dirty things from their environment. Let me tell you something. Itching, if you are into pig farming, you know that pigs are always itching. Most of the times, pigs usually develop uh, itching. They're always scratching on the, on the wall. If your young pigs develop this kind of scratching, if you don't, you know, administer the right drugs at the right time, this itching will affect their growth. When they start itching and their body starts shining red, it's all affecting their health and their growth rate. So it's always advised that when you notice that your, eat, that your pig is itching, you inject its drug to stop the itching. And this itching most of the time is as a, as a result of poor hygiene in the pig farm. Whether your hygiene is 100% or not, your pigs will always develop itching. But it's always advised to always, uh, you know, you always uh, identify those ones that are itching and inject them drugs to avoid stunted growth in your pig farm. Because all those little, little things contribute to make to make or mar your pig business. 
So the f the third um, the third cause of stunted growth is little feeding. You know, feeding your pigs quality feeds, the best feeds is a different thing. And then feeding them very well in quantity is, a, is also a different thing. Now, I, I made a video about uh, quality and the quantity of feeds to, pick, to feed to your pigs. I mean, that video should be titled um, How to Feed Your Pigs in Nigeria. It's in my YouTube channel. So, um, if you are feeding your pigs quality feed, you should also feed them in quantity. I mean, feed them very well. For example, now, how I do it in, in, our, in our own pig farm is that um, for the growing pigs, no matter how many they are in the pig pen, there's always food for them to eat. There's always water for them to drink. For me, I don't... The only time I you know, feed pigs in the morning, they'll feed their food and I'll then leave them and then feed them again in the evening. It's for the matured pigs, pigs that are grown. Pigs that I know I can sell at any time. So there's no need for me to always be bombarding them with feed. But for the growing ones who are still growing, I'm always giving them feed. They always eat because pigs love to eat. And pigs have a high feed to, feed to body conversion rate. So the more they are eating, the more they are increasing. No, nothing you feed a pig is a waste because pigs are always converting into, into body fats, into body weights, into meat, into flesh. So that's why I always advise to feed your pigs always. Now, the fourth cause of um, stunted growth in pig is sickness. Now, sickness is as a, you know, whether you keep your environment clean or not, pigs will always develop sickness. So it's always advice that when you notice that your pig is sick, for example, the most common diseases are diarrhea, scratching, um, and the coughing and the rest. I also made a video about it. Common diseases in pig farming. So check my video. I see. Uh, in fact, this my channel is all about pig farming. There are so many good contents. So if if you are thinking of starting pig farming or if you are already into pig farming, this is the channel to be. This is the channel to always watch. So you get me. This is the channel to always watch. So sickness is, a, is also a big cause of stunted growth in pig because if you don't treat that sickness. Immediately it's, it's uh, arises. If if you leave it, it might either make your pig to have stunted growth, or it might make your pig to die. Pigs, in as much as pigs are very ha, have a high resistance to diseases, pigs also do die. So if you take the proper precautions, you can you know avoid these uh, mortalities in your pig farm. That's why it's always advisable to notice and identify pigs that, that are sick and give them the proper medications. So, that is it. Now, the fifth cause of um, stunted growth in pigs is genetics. Genetics. Pigs also have the genetics. For example, if you cross it, a, pig, a male pig that is stunted, that has stunted growth and a female pig that has stunted growth, at the end of the day, you get a, a pig that has stunted growth also. That's it. Because there is no way that the gene from the mother and the gene from the father will combine together and not give you what they both carry. They always give you what they both carry. So that is why if you have stunted pigs in your farm, you should always sell them out for slaughter and not for breed and not use them for breeding. Only use good healthy pigs for breeding. So um and that, is, and that is also why, you know, there are some people that would feed their pigs very well, maintain proper hygiene in their pig farm, but yet the pig is not growing. That is, that is as, as a result of genetics. Not see you do it, will make it to grow because the standard growth is already in the body, it's already in the genes. So the best option is to sell that pig out. And if you are breeding your pigs, breed, breed pigs that are well grown and that have good, uh, that have good uh, health status. So... That is all about stunted growth in pig, in pigs. Like I always say, like I always preach, like I always beg, I beg, I take God beg now. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment. I love responding to you post comments. I enjoy, I enjoy um, helping out those who comment and those who reach out to me. So um, because I, I don't, I'm not the kind of person that will say uh, let let only me know what and what. Is in pig famine because myself only me. If I if you combine hundred of myself, we can't satisfy the pig market here in Nigeria. So the best thing is for us to help each other and let the industry grow 
and let more opportunities come our way. So thank you very much for watching my video. Subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you.